Hello everyone, I'm Simon Preston and welcome back to Reggae Boys Commentary. This is the platform where we come together to discuss everything in relation to Jamaican football. This is your hub for everything Jamaican football related. How are you guys doing? Is everything okay? You guys doing okay? Well, what we're going to do is have a discussion and I'm going to show you a little bit of insight so that you guys can be fully aware about the discussion, what I'm talking about, and get to know exactly where things are so that you have a bit of context because it's very important in relation to information so that we can be able to understand okay so this has happened this is what has transpired and this is what we need to do you know so that's why I think information is incredibly important from that sort of standpoint you know what I'm saying so if you guys haven't already I encourage you to hit the like button and after you hit the like button to hit the subscribe button to Reggae Boys commentary as well all right so with that being said now let's go right into the matter shall we yesterday there were some videos that were done one in relation to Kanaya Boyce Clark, one in relation to Mikel Antonio, and one in relation to how many victories do the Jamaicans need in order to qualify for the Copa America next year. These matters were discussed, and I encourage you to watch all of these videos as well. There was information in relation to the Concord of Nations in League and how that will transpire for Jamaica in the September and October window and what the November window would mean as well. And then shortly after that as well, well, prior in the day, Mikel Antonio being the first Jamaican to qualify for a UEFA Europa Conference League final. And also Kenaya Boyce Clark has been offered a three-year deal at Reading. And once more, we send a massive congratulations to Darren Moore and his team for advancing to the League One playoff final. We send congratulations as well to Amari Bell for being in the championship playoff final. Amari Bell, and Luton Town, all they have to do is defeat Casey Palmer and Coventry City in order to be to gain promotion to the, the Premier League or vice versa. So whichever way you look at it, a reggae boy will be promoted to the Premier League, which is absolutely fantastic. And we look forward to seeing that as well. In League One, well, it's a compelling situation as well in relation to League One, because if you look at the grand scheme of things, it's going to be Sheffield Wednesday and they will face one of Barnsley or Bolton Wanderers. You know, either Barnsley or Bolton Wanderers, one of the two teams they will face. And in League Two, Adrian Mariapa and Salford City, two victories away. Two victories away from heading into the League Two playoff final. And in relation to that in particular, Salford City, they hold a 1-0 lead from the first leg against Stockport County, the mini Greater Manchester Derby. So let's get right into this video, shall we? And analyze the the information that lies here all right so that's what we're going to do right now and we're going to break some of this down so that you guys can be fully aware about things okay so what we're going to do in particular is look at the gold cup all right we're going to look at the gold cup jamaica what is jamaica's record like at the gold cup something that we've already discussed before but in particular the points that we're going to make mention about the points that we're going to look at is in relation to goals at what minute do jamaica score their most goals at the gold cup well the fact of the matter is that jamaica have scored 57 goals in gold cup history and we're going to map them out we're going to map out every single one of them and i'm going to give you all the details that you need in relation to all of these gold cup goals okay so first thing first let us look in relation to Jamaica's first appearance at the Gold Cup in 1991. Jamaica's first goal came in the 39th minute from Roderick Reed. That's right, the 39th minute from Roderick Reed. But that wasn't the most frequent goal that Jamaica scored in Gold Cup history, not in that time frame. We'll get to that later in this video. The first time that Jamaica scored two goals in a game at a Gold Cup was also in 1991 as well against Canada. Hector Wright and Roderick Reed scored in the 42nd and also the 63rd minutes. In 1993, well, history was created that Jamaica won their first ever game in Gold Cup history against Honduras. The Hondurans, they took the lead. But guess what? The Jamaicans fought back. Jarrett equalized. Paul Davis made it 2-1. And Walter Boyd sealed it off with 12 minutes to go. In the last group stage game, it was Jamaica against Panama. The Panamians took the lead, but guess what? Jamaica made it 1-1, thanks to Paul Davis. In the semifinals, Hector Wright scored in the 17th minute. And in the third place playoff, Jarrett scored in the 89th minute. That's right, 89th minute. We'll now head over to 1998. What happened in 1998? The goals came in minutes 14, 67, 55, 41, 62, 
And we fast forward now to 2003 because there wasn't a goal scored at the 2000 edition of the Gold Cup. Now, in 2003, Jamaica's goals came in the 30th and 73rd minutes. And Andy Lowe and Andy Williams, remember he had to retake his penalty because Estrada was off his line. And then Andy Williams took the penalty again and Andy Williams converted. Yeah. And now in 2005, <laughs> the goals flowed. Every time that Jamaica scored in the opening 10 minutes of a game, Jamaica has won the game. I repeat, every time that Jamaica has scored in the opening 10 minutes of a football match at the Gold Cup, Jamaica has gone on to win that game. And Jamaica has scored five goals within the opening 10 minutes of a game at the Gold Cup. Two of them came against Guatemala in 2005. Luton Shelton in the third minute, Ricardo Fuller in the fifth minute, and De Williams in the 45th minute, Jermaine Hugh in the 57th minute. In the 3-3 draw against South Africa, Jermaine Hugh, minute 35, Damien Stupi Stewart, minute 45, Tier 4 Bennett in the 80th minute. In the quarterfinals, Ricardo Fuller scored in the 88th minute. Jamaica's sole goal at the 2009 edition of the Gold Cup came against El Salvador, and Omar Cummings scored in the 70th minute. In 2011, though, bam, 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 the goals just came and came and came. Luton Shelton, minute 21, shot Ryan Johnson, minute 39, Demar Phillips, minute 79, and Omar Daly, minute 84. Against Guatemala, Demar Phillips, a brace, minute 66 and 76. Ryan Johnson, in minute 36, scored against Honduras. 2015, now. <laughs> in the 2015 edition of the Gold Cup, Gareth McClure scored in the 13th minute, and Joby McEnough in the 48th. Rudy Austin in second half stoppage time, time added. And then Gareth McClure in minute 72. But another early goal followed in the quarterfinals, Giles Barnes against Haiti. And guess what? Jamaica always wins their games where they score in the opening 10 minutes of a Gold Cup. Darren Mattox, minute 30. Giles Barnes, minute 35 against the United States. Darren Mattox scored in the 78th minute in the final. We'll go to 2017 now. And in 2017, goals came, a lot of them in the second half. Romario Williams, Darren Mattox, Mattox. In the quarterfinals, Jamaica scored an early goal. Yeah, Sean Francis, minute number six. And guess what? When Jamaica scores in the first 10 minutes of games, they go on to win. Yeah, Romario Williams, minute 50. Taxi, minute 88. And Javon Watson, minute 50 in the final. In 2019 now, Jamaica scored some first half goals. They have a Orgil, a brace, minute 15 and 41. Damien Lowe, minute 56. Minute 14 against Curacao. In the quarterfinals, it was a goal in the 75th minute from Darren Mattox from the penalty spot. Shamar Nicholson scored against the United States in the 69th minute. And in 2021, early goal. That's right. Early goal against Suriname from Shamar Nicholson. So Jamaica scored five goals in the opening 10 minutes of games at the Gold Cup. And they have won all of those games. Bobby Reed, minute 26. Corey Burke, minute 14. And Junior Flemings, minute 87. So let me recap that for, for you guys. Jamaica scored 57 goals in the history of the CONCACAF Gold Cup. 26 of them have come in the first half, while 31 of them have come in the second half. So Jamaica have scored more second half goals than first half goals in the history of the CONCACAF Gold Cup. Jamaica scored five more second half goals than first half goals in the history of the Gold Cup. Jamaica scored 57 goals in Gold Cup history. Of the 57 goals that Jamaica have scored in Gold Cup history, 40 of them have come in matches which Jamaica have won. That's right. 40 of them have come in matches which Jamaica have won. You guys can do the math if you'd like when you put 40 over 57. That's basically a 70%. So whenever Jamaica scores, there's a 70% chance that they win based on what has transpired in the Gold Cup. Whenever Jamaica scores, 70% of the time, they go on to win the game. And we've seen evidence of that in the Gold Cup itself. And another piece of information I'm going to share with you is which minute or which period of the game has Jamaica scored their most goals in? 
in Gold Cup history. So that is what we're going to analyze at this point in time. From minutes one to minute 10, Jamaica have scored five goals in Gold Cup history. I repeat that again. Jamaica have scored five goals in the opening 10 minutes of a game at the Gold Cup. Minutes 11 to 20, Jamaica have scored six goals. That's right. In the opening, rather, minutes 11 to 20, Jamaica have scored six goals in Gold Cup history. Minutes 21 to 30, Jamaica have scored five goals in Gold Cup history. Minutes 31 to 40, Jamaica have scored five goals in Gold Cup history. So in the first 40 minutes of games, Jamaica have scored their most goals in a period of minutes 11 to 20. But let's move on. Minutes 41 to 50, Jamaica scored nine goals in Gold Cup history. A lot of them on the stroke of halftime or a lot of them at the start of the second half. Nine goals. Minute 51 to 60, Jamaica have scored four goals in Gold Cup history. Minute 61 to 70, Jamaica have scored seven goals in Gold Cup history. Minute 71 to 80, Jamaica have scored 10 goals in Gold Cup history. Minute 81 to 90, Jamaica have scored six goals in Gold Cup history. So, what does that tell you? Well, based on the numbers, 10 of Jamaica's 57 goals in Gold Cup history have come in minutes 71 to 80. The most frequent time that Jamaica has scored goals in Gold Cup history have come from minute 71 to 80. That's the most frequent time that Jamaica have scored goals at the Gold Cup, from minute 71 to 80. A crucial point in the game when you bear in mind the last 20 minutes. When you're looking for a winner, when you're looking for an insurance goal, when you're looking to kill a game off, this is the time that Jamaica has been most prolific in Gold Cup history, scoring 10 goals. And this is stemming from Jamaica's first ever game at the first ever win at the Gold Cup against Honduras back in 1993. So scoring late in games have been a pivotal role for Jamaica because in the last 20 minutes of a game, Jamaica have scored 16 goals in Gold Cup history. 10 goals from the 71st to the 80th minute and six goals from the 81st to the 90th minute. So this portion, this period of the game have been critical, absolutely critical from a Jamaican standpoint extremely extremely critical minute 71 to 90 jamaica scored 16 goals in gold cup history so that's just an insight in relation to what jamaica has done from 1991 to present okay guys i hope you guys were informed by this video if you liked it as well hit the like button and don't forget as well to subscribe for more content okay guys we'll be in touch